Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBO bringing you another Batman Arkham Knight video. If I sound a little weird, it's because I'm recording from my iPhone right now. I am not at home. I am at my cousin's house, and that's why, uh, at the same time, that I'm not uploading any Batgirl gameplay. Uh, I've also heard that some people don't have the Batgirl DLC yet, and that it's going to be released throughout the day. So. Whenever I get home, the moment that I do, you're definitely going to see some background gameplay up on the channel. But today we're going to be talking about is the August DLC for Batman Arkham Knight being revealed. And it looks so amazing. Now I might mention before we get into all the awesome stuff that we see here that the Harley Quinn DLC and the Red Hood DLC will also be coming as part of the August DLC drop for the season pass. So for those of you who didn't pre-order or didn't get the Red Hood DLC or the Harley Quinn DLC, you will be getting that as a part of the season pass next month. So let's talk about the really good stuff. I'm going to read you the exact post that we got from Rocksteady with this announcement. So Next up will be a new selection of skin packs for season pass holders in August with the 1989 movie Batmobile pack, adding a new Batman skin as originally portrayed by Michael Keaton in the Tim Burton flick alongside the iconic movie Batmobile. Two tracks inspired the 1992's Batman Returns will also be included. Then there's the Bat Family skin pack, also coming in August with six character skins cherry picked from alternate timelines. It includes 1990s Catwoman as seen in The Long Halloween, one year later Robin, Arkham Origins Batman, iconic gray and black Batman, and the 1970s Batman, and the Arkham City Nightwing. Now, let's talk about the Tim Burton costume with the Batmobile and the racetracks first, as that's what you're seeing on screen. This is, I'm calling it right now, my all-time favorite Arkham skin in any game. It is such a cool design. It's so simple. It's so great. I love the logo, the belt, everything about this costume. It's just amazing. I am so, so happy to see this in Batman Arkham Knight, as well as the Batmobile. Oh my god. I know we were kind of expecting that we were going to be getting some sorts of new Batmobiles as part of these racetracks, but... The Burton Batmobile, so great. And I'm loving that the racetracks that they're using inspired for this Batmobile is from Batman Returns. You know, you get that snow and everything, and it looks great. Oh my god, everything about this just screams awesome to me. I cannot wait to use this Burton Batman skin as well as the Burton Batmobile. But let's also talk about the skins that comes with the with the August DLC. Obviously we've got the 1990 or sorry, the 1970s Batman skin, the gray and black skin, the Arkham Origins suit, which I'm really glad to see, the 1990s Catwoman, Arkham City Nightwing, and one year later Robin. All these looking great. I love the Catwoman skin. The design is really really awesome. Uh any other ones they're like kind of cool but nothing really like, screams amazing to me. The Nightwing skin's pretty great. I'm glad to see the Arkham City Nightwing. That's one of the skins that I recommended in my skin ideas video for Nightwing and Robin and Catwoman. So, that's just really great to see that. But besides that, none of these costumes really scream amazing to me. It's great to see the Arkham Origins bat suit, but, you know, it's nothing special. Uh, I do hear rumors that the Arkham Origins bat suit's going to come with a tumbler because this is supposed to be the Dark Knight skin that they listed. So we're going to have to wait and see, but overall, I'm just really glad with this DLC. August DLC drop is just going to be so great, and if they keep doing this in the months to come, they're just going to be providing some really amazing DLC content. So, yeah, that's right. Season Pass owners, get ready. August DLC is coming. We don't know the exact date, like the release date for these costumes, but whenever we do, I will certainly get that information to you via Twitter, whatever it may be, those social media outlets. So with that said, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.